Good morning, everybody. Today I'm going to Watkinsk. Um, it's it is also a small city like Serapol, but slightly bigger, but definitely smaller than Izhevsk, uh, with a population of about two hundred thousand people. But it is also a very important city in Udmurtia. It has got a very big lake, and I'm going to show you everything. I'll try to show you everything. It has got a very big museum as well of Tchaikovsky, a very famous composer of Russia. So, well, please stay tuned, and I'll see you in Watkinsk. Alright guys, so I have reached Watkins, it took about one and a half hour, well, there was no traffic but um, I couldn't go over 90 kilometers per hour because the speed limit was 90 here and then most of the places are 70 so I really couldn't do anything above 90. So anyway, right now I'm in Watkinsk and um, behind me you see it's uh, Tchaikovsky Museum, it's a He's a very famous Russian uh, composer, and um, now I will try to go in and try to show you, but right now, there is also a very big lake right here, as you see, and I'm just gonna show you and talk about Watkins, so get ready. Okay, so right now I'm in uh, Watkins, uh, it's, um, the place is called uh, Nabirajnaya, or the embankment, and uh, it's uh, it's very beautiful here to walk as well. It's it's very clean and it's very cold. Uh, it's not very cold, but it's cool and uh, probably it's gonna rain because again it's very overcast. And um, but I like this place. Again, you see there are not many people here, so it's it's usual with Russian cities here, small cities. You don't see many people, and this is a small town of about 200,000 people so you know you expect to be empty so I'm going to change the camera I'm going to show you Watkins alright so this is the lake this is very big this is definitely bigger than the one we have in Izhevsk I guess this is also an artificial pond or lake it was made for industrial purposes so the water from here, it goes to the factories, right? Behind me there are many factories. And that's uh, Watkins City Center. And I'll try to show you more about Watkins. And oh yeah, of course, on my left is this famous Tchaikovsky Museum. So Tchaikovsky, as you may know, he was the famous Russian composer I have had been here once it was I guess in 2015 with my wife and I I don't think there things have changed here no it's pretty much the same and those are pine trees pine forest that's the other end of the city right there so this is Watkinsk and it's very clean I mean one of the good things about Russian cities are very clean or they are the cleaner that as compared with other cities and elsewhere and I guess you can get a good view of Watkinsk city center right here all right so I'm near the pond and um, this looks like a, a lake, sorry. This looks like I am uh, near somewhere in the sea, a seaside. But this is not a sea, this is a pond. And there is definitely a river somewhere which connects to, which connects this pond, but I don't know the name of the river here. If you know, please comment below. So, I'm gonna change my camera view again. Uh, the Russian summer is usually very hot, but uh, this year it's surprisingly very cool and it's very overcast as you can see and it's windy and we still have uh, two months more of summer and then it's gonna be fall and it's gonna be cold and then winter starts in December and it's gonna be very very cold here temperature goes up to about minus 20 degrees Celsius to minus 25 sometimes goes to minus 35 here 
but I like that. I, I, I don't like summer. I, I like cold, I like winter. It's beautiful. So I have reached the museum now and the museum is right there and I'm going to show you from inside soon. So let's go in and find out and I hope they will allow me to vlog from inside. Alright, so I'm in the museum now and I've got the ticket here. That's the ticket right there, you see. That's a, it's called billet or the ticket and it cost 240 rubles for an excursion without a guide of course so this is uh, this is the museum here so let me change the camera and I'm gonna show you all right so this is the museum of Tchaikovsky the famous Russian composer and it's very interesting to see this house you see this very very typical Russian village house made made from woods but it is also very dangerous you see, these are you. You you find a lot of houses made of, made from wood here, and um, right now I'm just gonna see what else do we have. I was here three years ago, and nothing has changed as such. Everything as is, and. Uh, it's very beautiful here. You see that garden there, and uh, <laughs> so this is the museum. I will try to go inside and see what do we have. Okay, I'm inside a small room right now, and. Uh, you see uh, a lot of things right here. Look at this iron he used by Tchaikovsky probably. That's very old iron of coal. We used to have that I think in 1980s and I guess uh, late 1980s. And these are some of the instruments probably used in the snow. I'm not sure as to the purpose of these instruments and uh, of course these are slaves these are used in the snow pulled by dogs and uh, these are some other instruments to repair the car and slave and that is and that is the oven. So this is um, the Museum of Tchaikovsky. Well, oh, and look at the boat here. This is a small boat used in the river for fishing probably. So look what I found here, it's a sink. It's a very interesting sink, you usually find such sinks in the dacha or the summer house. And what happens is you pour the water from here on the top, you, the water is collected in this cabinet and um, you just turn on the tap and the water flows. So in dachas or summer house, there's a problem of water, the water there's no water connection. So, this is how they manage to clean, to brush, to do their morning chores. And I can show you a greenhouse there. In dachas in Russia, or dacha is also called summer house, um, a lot of people have these um, greenhouse to grow vegetables so in the winter it's very useful sometimes they sell it but most of the time they keep it for themselves and usually they grow cabbage potatoes and some other vegetables which 
are found in Murtia. But potatoes, yes, of course. Uh, when you talk about Russia and potatoes, of course, it's 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 always there. So this is the Museum of Tchaikovsky. It's very beautiful here. It's very clean, of course, and uh, it's very calm. It was overcast, but now the sun is shining and it looks like it's not going to rain which is okay for me to drive but I, I, I like rain I like overcast days I, I don't like sun or sunny days and as you know that the primary industry of Russia is weapons so, until I think 1980s or 1990s, many cities in Turkey were closed to foreigners. Foreigners were not allowed inside. Even the locals, they had restrictions. But now, it isn't like that. It's so much better. And um, it's, it's pretty windy. And um, it's very nice. It's not closed anymore. Anyone can it's very beautiful, so I suggest you to come to the interior of Russia, especially Murcia. It's very, very interesting. It's an interesting culture, interesting language. They have their own language called Murcia, and uh, it's like uh, Gujarati or Marathi. And uh, well, unfortunately, not many people speak uh, Murcian language. They speak Russian, and English is also not spoken very widely here so you you've got to learn Russian language if you really want to survive here. so when you talk about Russia it's industrial country a lot of factories a lot of industries it's not agriculture country because it's very cold most of the time so it's very difficult to grow vegetables here so people rely on meat the meat is very common here so a vegetarian like me, I always have problems. So I usually eat potatoes and cabbage. So my wife cooks it. She does a very good. She's a very good cook. So so I'm. I don't have a problem. But anyone else coming from for for as a visitor, especially if coming to the interior of Russia. And if you're a vegetarian, then yes, it's going to be a problem. Alright, so this is the exit of the museum. It says, Do Svitania, Do Novik, Vestrich. It means goodbye. See you soon. So, to give you a better perspective, so this we were right there, some time back. Uh, the Museum of Tchaikovsky, and now we are here in the city center. And this is the embankment or the waterfront that people walk here. And today is Sunday, but as usual with the small Russian cities, we don't see many people here. It's very calm, very, very cool. The sun is out, but it's still very cool, and the water is also very calm. So and um, that's my car there, as usual. It's a Tryon C4 Coupe. And uh, I like to walk here. It gives you the feeling of being at the seafront, but it's not, it's just a pond. And uh, you see many cars up right here. And uh, there isn't traffic. This is such a small sea, you don't see traffic here. In Nizhevsky, yes, we do have traffic in the morning and in the evening, rush hour, but I, I don't think so, traffic can't be here. It's very small city. Alright, so I'm gonna go home now, and uh, hopefully we'll reach in about one and a half hour as usual, at a speed of 90 kilometers per hour, not more than that. 
so I'll see you. All right, so that was Watkins. I hope you enjoyed it. I will try to come here again and give you more information about the city. Uh, next Sunday, I guess I'm going to show you around Ijevsk and um, I'll show you some supermarkets there and the prices of goods. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you. Thank you so much.